Hi friends and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm reimagining a painting by artist Vladimir Trechikov. Vladimir Trechikov was a Russian artist whose work was greatly influenced by his early life living and working throughout Asia. Very popular artist amongst the general public. Art critics, however, gave him the nickname the King of Kitsch, which I'm kind of into, so that's probably why I'm such a fan. When he was four years old, Trechikov and his family fled the Russian Revolution and joined a community of Russian expats in Harbin, China. He worked as an art director, illustrator and cartoonist in Shanghai in the early 1930s before moving to Singapore in 1935. When the Second World War spread to the Pacific in 1940, Trechikov began working for the British Ministry of Information as a propaganda artist. Two years later, while fleeing Singapore for South Africa, the boat he was on was bombed by the Japanese and only 42 of the 300 passengers and crew survived. The survivors rode on a rowboat for 19 days until they reached Java. And fortunately, the Japanese had occupied Java, so he was captured and imprisoned and spent three months in solitary confinement in Serang. Once he was released, he spent the rest of the war on parole in Batavia, which is modern day Jakarta. In 1946, he finally got to South Africa where he stayed until he died in 2006 at the impressive age of 93. His exotic portraits of Asian and African women were immensely popular during the 1950s and 60s and were widely reproduced. Actually, Tretrikov became one of the most reproduced artists and was said to be the world's richest artist after Picasso which that's a lot of dough, bro. I've chosen to interpret Trechikov's work, Miss Wong. So the subject of the original portrait was a young woman, Valerie Young, who was living in Cape Town and Trechikov asked her to pose for him. A large print of the painting was sent to her family where it still remains today with her son in Sydney, Australia. The anagram title of Miss Wong is Swim Song.
This is basically what I do when I'm making one of these. I just put all the bits that I want to work into a spot and I just jiggle them around until they work or I completely trash it and start again. While I was trying to get all this to work, I just kept going back to this damn strawberry. I just could not stop touching this strawberry and m making this strawberry. I just... I, I just had to have this strawberry there and I was just desperately trying to make it work. I'm not, see, I'm going back to the strawberry. Gosh, leave it, dude, leave the strawberry alone. Oh my God, stop with the strawberry. All right, just leave it, mate. Move on to something else, please. Okay, so this icy pole, I just really wanted this to work somewhere too. So, oh, there we go with the strawberry. No, that was a short-lived idea. Wasn't into that too much, was I? All right, let's move on to the duck. I know in the back of my mind, I'm keep looking at that straw. Oh, spanner. This is a spanner. Now the strawberry's left the building. We've got an action figure. Which actually I don't mind. I wonder if I keep that. Oh, no. Oh, got to go back to the strawberry. Everything's right with the world. That might be the last time I touched it. Oh, no, I touched it again. And little motorbike guy there because it's a nice little round shape. But I do find a place for that anchor in the end. Just going to give her a little bit more fringe action. It's looking a bit sparse. And I think we're nearly done. Guys, thanks so much for watching the making of swim song. I hope you enjoyed it. Please subscribe to the channel, like, comment below. I love reading your comments uh, and hit the notification bell too. So you don't miss out on a video upload. Pop on over to Instagram so you can see some close up photos of today's project. And over on TikTok, I'm trying to do some short form content videos too, to engage these that don't want to watch a long video like this. Thanks again for watching guys and I'll see you in the next video.